welcome to the first part of the Jupyter Notebook server installation tutorials. In this video, I will walk you through how to install the Jupyter Notebook server to be paired with your installation of Cognos Analytics. The Jupyter Notebook server may be installed on a separate machine than Cognos Analytics, however it must be installed on a Ubuntu machine, and it must already have Docker installed. Here, I already have the Cognos installer open, and I'm going to go ahead and start the installation. You'll find the Jupyter Notebook server in the IBM Cognos Analytics Tools section. And at the very bottom, IBM Cognos Jupyter Server. And now you'll be prompted for an installation directory. The default will be fine, so we'll go ahead and use it. And now the first part of the installation will begin, and should only take a couple of minutes, depending on the internet connection speed. Note that once the files are downloaded, and they are placed within their installation directory, you will still need to launch the server's installation script. Now that it's finished, you can press Done to exit the installer, and will now navigate to the installation directory to launch the server. And within the disk directory. Now inside, we should see two main folders. One called Images, and one called Scripts. Within the Images folder, we will find the Docker images that need to be loaded, and within the scripts folder, we will find all the bash scripts for managing the server, as well as a few configuration files. So let's go in there. And within Unix. We will find the main script called install.sh. To run it, we must first give each of the scripts execute permissions. We can do that by running chmod. And now we can run the install script. So what's happening is, all the Docker images from within the images directory are being loaded into the host's local registry, and the containers are being created with their default configurations. This process should only take about a minute or so. So it looks like the installer finished running. And that's really all there is to it. We can check that the containers are up by running docker ps-a. And all that's left to do is to connect the Jupyter server to your Cognos Analytics installation. It's important to note that, so far, I only covered how to start the server without the use of SSL. So if Cognos is running without SSL, the integration of the Jupyter server should work fine. However, if Cognos is secured, the Jupyter server will also need to be secured, and this topic will be covered in a subsequent tutorial. Thank you for watching.